My name is Hunter Proven. I'm the developer of Philo Geographer. It's an algorithm that computes theoretical male line migrations based on the results of genetic tests that have then been analyzed by YFOL. Um, because my data comes from the YFOL tree, uh, it's important that people who do the YFOL analysis and get on the YFOL tree, it's important that the locations that they mark as where their ancestor is from uh, makes sense uh, for our haplogroup research. And so I, I have some guidelines if you're not sure which location you should use. It's um, not all, I don't know, there's a golden rule. Uh, there's a lot of different complex situations that, that people are in based on their knowledge of where their ancestors were living. Living. Okay, as a general rule, I advise to choose the location where your most re distant known male ancestor for Y-DNA was born. That means your male line ancestor. If your family has an oral tradition of having migrated from a specific country or region, please only use this location if the migration happened within a few generations and seems most likely for various reasons. Uh, if you don't have a most distant known ancestor, then that ancestor is you. You can set your birth location. Setting any kind of location is better than not having any location on your y full sample. Uh, because if there's no location on it, it can't be used for uh, research into migrations. In general, do not use locations of your matches when your own paternal ancestry location is not known, unless you really know what you are doing. Uh, a lot of people do this. Uh, they don't know where their ancestor is from, but they know that one of their Y chromosome matches traces descent somewhere, and then they say that that's where their ancestor is from. We want to avoid a problem caused by compounded assumptions of origin. When one person says they're from where their match said that where they were from, and, but if that person didn't really know that their ancestor came from there, but they said that their ancestor was from there because one of their other matches was from there. Now you have a cascade of errors instead of just one person being wrong. Uh, special case, if you know where your ancestors lived prior to your terminal subclade's most recent common ancestor. Uh, for example, your paper trail says your ancestor moved from Wales to Ireland in 1500. In 1800, they moved to Australia. Uh, do you use Wales, Ireland, or Australia? You can only use one location for your sample on YFL. Let's say you're positive for a clade whose most recent common ancestor lived 1400 and a later one who lived 1700. Uh, so what I'm going to tell you now is in some cases, it'll make more sense that you mark your sample as Wales. In some cases, it'll make more sense that you'd mark it as Ireland. In some cases, you might want to mark it as Australia. Do whatever will shed the most light onto all of these migrations, which means look at what other samples are already on the y full tree and mark your sample accordingly to preserve the information that's already there or enhance. So in now concrete terms, if there are no other samples downstream of the older clade with Wales designation, then I think haplogroup research is best served if your sample is set to Wales. However, if there are already samples with Wales and no samples marked with Ireland below the later subclade whose most recent common ancestor lived in Ireland, then I think research is best served if your sample is set to Ireland. By the same logic, if you are also part of a subclade that formed after the migration to Australia and the migration from Wales to Ireland is already clear from other samples on YFOL, then marking Australia seems like the best option. Thank you. I hope that it helps.